friends and welcome to the class of mathematics today we are going to deal with another new method to solve a linear equation in two variable that method is called as determinant method and that method is discovered by gabriel kramer who was a swiss mathematician so that method is also called as kramer's rule so determinant method is also called as kramer's rule before going to deal with the kramer's rule so we know actually what is meaning of determinant so let's see what is the meaning of determinant so let's see what is the meaning of determinant so here is i just write here so this is called determinant so there are two rows here is ab is row here is row ab and second row is cd so there are two rows present in this determinant and two column present so this first column is ac and second column is bd so there are two rows and two columns that's why this determinant is called as 2 by 2 it is a matrix so it is 2 by 2 matrix and this matrix is a input what is the output of that matrix output is output is a number so that number represent the output of that matrix and output represent a into d minus b into c so what is the output of matrix i just explain here again here is a b c d and what is output here what is the value of this determinant you just multiply the first number of first column to the second number of second column so it is ad minus first number of second column multiplied by second number of first column that is bc you just understand the output ad minus bc so we are solving the determinant here i just expect determinant is a 2 by 2 matrix and output is a number so the determinant given i just read row or column wise minus 1 2 7 4 so what is the output here what is the value of that determinant multiply minus 1 with 4 minus 1 into 4 this is my first thing and second thing is multiply 7 with 2 so 7 into 2 So minus one into four, that is minus four. So here is the sign minus seven into two, that is fourteen. So minus minus. So there are same sign. We just add the number. So minus four minus fourteen, that should be minus eighteen. So value of the determinant is minus eighteen. We are also solving this with the same method. So seven by three, three by two, five by three, one by two. This is our determinant. So how to solve it? Just having the cross multiplication, seven by three into one by two, seven by three into one by two minus here is five by three into three by two. Here is five by three into three by two. Just the cross, just multiplication with the numerator, multiplication with the denominator. So seven into one, seven three into two, six minus. Same procedure. 5 into 3 numerator multiply same denominator multiply 5 into 3 here is 15 3 into 2 here is 6 so their new denominator should be same one so here is 6 it remain as it is so 7 minus 15 so 7 minus 15 it should be minus 8 by 6 so minus 8 by 6 we just simplify that number it should be minus 4 by So what what is value of this determinant? It is minus four by three. So now going to deal with the Kramer's rule. So what is the meaning of Kramer's rule? I just write two equation, two linear simultaneous equation. Simultaneous equation means when two or more equation taken together, it is called as simultaneous linear equation. So I just write first linear equation a one x plus b one y is equal to c one. My second equation is a two x plus b two y is equal to c two. you must remember one thing your constant must be to the right hand side of the equation again i repeat to solve the problem of kramer's rule 
constant must be to the right hand side of the equation. For example, if the, this equation is given as a1x minus, sorry, b1y minus c1 is equal to 0. So your constant is to the left hand side. You must remember it goes to the right hand side. So it is a1x plus b1y is equal to c1. So this is the standard form of the linear equation to solve by Kramer's rule. So this method Kramer's use the determinant. So I just write the first determinant. What Kramer's write the determinant d? He write the first column as the coefficient of x. So here is a1, a2. He write the second column as coefficient of y. It is b1, b2. So the what is d? d is the first column. It is a coefficient of x. So in second column, it is coefficient of y. So a product is a number. So your product should be a1, b2 minus b1, a2. Then he find dx. What is a dx? Now concentrate here. What is dx? He just replace the coefficient of x. I just write here x. So replace coefficient of x with the constant c1, c2. C1, C2, B1, B2. So, for finding dx, just replace the coefficient of x in D with constant C1, C2. So, what is the output? C1, B2 minus B1, C2. And what is dy? dy, again dy means here is y. So, replace, I just rub it. So, what is dy? Replace coefficient of y. What is coefficient of y? b1, b2. Look here, b1, b2. And coefficient of y with constant. So a1, a2 remains same and here is c1, c2. So just compare here. He is replace dx, replace coefficient of x with constant. dy, replace coefficient of y with constant. Again, the output is a number a1, c2 minus c1, a2. And what is solution here? He find x is equal to dx by d and y is equal to dy by d. So uh, solving this equation by Kramer's rule, let's concentrate here. The equation is given 4x, 3x minus 4y is equal to 10. Second equation is 4x plus 3y is equal to 5. So here is a1x, b1y, c1, a2x, b2y, c2. So I just write a1, a2. What is the value of a1? a1, a2 are the coefficient of x. So here is a1 is 3, a2 is 4. So here is b1, b2. What is b1, b2? They are the coefficient of y. So what is b1? Is minus 4. What is b2? Is 3. And I just write c1, c2. c1, c2 are the constant. So it is always to the right side. Concentrate this point. It's constant must be to the right side. So here is 10, here is 5. Okay. So we are solving it. We are first finding D. We know D is A1, A2, B1, B2. So I just place the value. A1, A2 is 3, 4. What is B1, B2? Minus 4, 3. So it is a matrix. Output is a number. So how find it, How to find the number? Cross multiply. 3 into 3 minus. Minus 4 into 4. Minus 4 into 4. So 3 into 3, 9. This minus and here is minus 16. So 9 minus into minus plus. So 9 plus 16. So 9 plus 16 is 25. I just find dx. So we know dx means replace a1, a2 with constant c1, c2. What is constant c1, c2? Here is, here is c1, c2, b1, b2. So what is c1, c2? Here is 10, 5. What is b1, b2? Minus 4, 3. Again, same cross multiply. Here is 10 into 3 minus minus 4 into 5. So 20, 10 into 3, 30. Minus into minus plus 4 into 5, 20. So 30 plus 20, 50. So finally, what is dx? It should find 50. I just find dy. We know dy. Same a1, a2. Coefficient of x remains same. And replace coefficient of y with c1, c2. So, see a1, a2 is 
C4, what is C1, C2? 10, 5. Okay, so here is 3 into 5 minus 10 into 4. So 3 into 5, 15 minus 10 into 4, 40. So 15 minus 40, that should be minus 25. So now finding the solution. So x is equal to dx by d. What is dx? You are finding dx is 50. And what is dy? dy is 25u. So 50 by 25u. What is value of x? It should be 2. Then finding y. It is dy by d. So what is dy? Minus 25u. And what is d? Here is 25. So minus 25 by 25. It is 1. So what is our solution? x comma y is 2 comma 1. So here is, I just uh, uh, to write the now uh, here is minus 1. So it is 2 comma minus 1. So for practice, we are also solve one example. I just write down the board x plus 2y is equal to minus 1 and 2x minus 3y is equal to 12. I just write the coefficient of x a1, a2. So what is the coefficient of x here? So there is no number, means here is 1. So what is coefficient of x here? It is 2. Now I just write the coefficient of y right as b1 b2 so coefficient of y here is 2 here is minus 3 so don't miss the sign of the number coefficient of y b2 is minus 3 and what is c1 c2 that is coefficient it is constant and it is always to the right side here is minus 1 12 now again to find the value of d what is d a1 a2 b1 b2 i just replace a1 a2 what is a1 a2 1, 2, 1, 2. What is B1, B2? 2 minus 3. So it is a matrix. Output is a number. So how to find that number? Just cross multiply. Here is 1 into minus 3. Minus. Here is 2 into 2. Here is 2 into 2. So 1 into minus 3, minus 3. Minus 2 into 2, 4. So when the same sign is there, you must add that number. So minus 3 minus 4, it should be minus 7. I just write dx. So what is dx? Replace coefficient of x with constant. So here is c1, c2, b1, b2. So what is c1, c2? c1, c2 is minus 1, comma 12. What is b1, b2? b1, b2 are 2 minus 3. So again matrix, output is a number. Again there is a cross multiplication. Minus 1 into minus 3 minus here is 2 into 12. So minus into minus multiplication become plus. Here is minus the sign of the given rule. Here is 2 into 12 that is 14. So uh, it should be 24. 12 into 2 that is 24. So 3 minus 24. Here is minus 21. So I just find dy. So dy. What is dy? Coefficient of x remains same. Replace the coefficient of y with constant. Here is c1, c2. So what is a1, a2? a1, a2 they are given 1, 2. And what is constant here? Minus 1, 12. So again there is a cross multiplication. 1 into 12 minus minus 1 into 2. So 1 into 12, that is 12. So here is minus, here is minus, 1 into 2, 2, minus 2 into minus. So it should be plus 2. Here is 14. Now find x. You know what is the meaning of x? How to find x? It is dx by d. What is value of dx? It should be minus 21. And what is value of well, dx is minus 21 and what is value of d? It is minus 7. So numerator and denominator both having minus sign, it goes to plus. So 7, 3 is a 21. So value of x is 3. And what is value of y? How to find y? It should be dy by d. So what is dy? dy comes to 14. And what is d? d comes to minus 7. So, 14 by minus 7, it should be minus 2. 
so our solution x comma y that is 3 comma minus 2 so solution is 3 comma minus 2 we are checking it if it is right or wrong just cross multiply just cross check it so just put the values of x and y in this equation so x is 3 plus 2 into y that is 2 into minus 2 that is minus 4 3 minus 4 3 minus 4 is minus 1 so left hand side is equal to right hand side so our equation is uh, right our solution is right so i think you get it if you are having any problem or any query just comment me i will definitely solve it thank you